I'm talking about my mentor, Max, here in these um, continuing episodes, because he had such a profound influence on me. Um, after all the education and the courses and the books and everything, I was still nervous on the phone. Um, people were adversarial. Sometimes they talked down to me. I call it the, they were like a critical parent and I was the child seeing, hey, could I have another cookie out of the jar? It's a bad way to sell, being subservient to the prospect. You're supposed to be res well respected, like a doctor, a lawyer, a, a professional, who somebody's going to with a problem, a pain, a need or a greed. Max had this ability to this, and I talked about this in some of the previous episodes, to get self people so relaxed and share information. And then he take this information uh, which he took notes on. And um, he would paint a picture in their mind. He would use, um, he would be, use very descriptive words. He would use, I call it in Guts 2.0, the five senses. The smell, the taste, the touch, the sight, the, the hearing, all the different senses that we have. And he'd blend these together in such a way that he'd get the person, you knew they were conscious, but in their mind, they were thinking about something else. And he would paint this picture. If he would talk about a house that he was trying to do a deal on, um, he would go to the person and suppose they were living in a one bedroom apartment and they wanted to move in the house. He'd say, imagine you and your beautiful family and the kids are running and squealing and just laughing and playing on the wet grass with a water hose and the water's going all over. It's a hot summer day and the kids are just having fun. And you and your significant other, you're grilling, you've got the barbecue going and your favorite food is on that grill and you can hear the food sizzling on the, on the grill with, and you could smell it. It was delicious. And as the sun's slowly going down and there's that beautiful glow in the sky, we call it here in the mountains, an aspen, uh, an alpen glow. And then everybody eats and has a wonderful, satisfying meal. And then, then everybody goes in the living room and maybe it's a cool night and turn on the fireplace. You, you know where I'm going with this, okay? And he would do this so effortlessly telling, we call it storytelling or I call it painting a picture. And while I was just, just describing that little story about the family and the kids and the barbecue and everything, did you have a little picture in your mind? This is what he did. And he did it so masterfully. And he taught this to me, or I kind of, I had to watch and figure out what he was doing. And I said, okay, this is how he's doing it. And I wanted to learn the science behind it. And I, he couldn't explain the science. It's an art and a science. It's a little bit of thespian skill. It's also a, a lot of different areas of psychological study that I, uh, uh, transactional analysis, power of suggestion, Pavlov, uh, Freud, Jung, um, uh, um, psychological triggers, all these different areas that I studied of psychology and persuasion. How do you make another person say yes? How do you have a delightful, fun, when I'm selling with people, I'll talk about this in another video. We laugh a lot. We have fun in the conversation. Max was able to create the right environment. So sales was effortless because this is how you get to the success. And this is how you get the contracts. This is how you make the money you truly deserve. Like I always say, I know how hard you folks are working. And I know all you want to do is pay your bills and have some security. Go to bed. To me, all I ever wanted was to go to bed at night and not think about money. The bills were paid, things, the rent was paid, all those wonderful things in my early days. And I think you want the same things, that security, that freedom that we all want. Sales is the way you're gonna get there, but you can't take it for granted. There is no magic pill. You have to study it, you have to practice it. I said that louder because you could read all the books in the world. You can listen to all my videos. You've got to practice. This is the one thing I do with all my students. Every Monday, we spend an hour practicing, role-playing. I do private and small, what I call group entourage sessions with my students. We just practice all the time. Even if they don't have all the answers to all the questions on their product and services, even if they don't have all the, the leads that they need, the few people that they talk to, you only need to speak to two, three, four, as many as five people a day. And you see magic happen all the time. If you, if you have a system of sales, 
We'll talk more about that later. By the way, free book on my webpage, claudediamond.com, and I do answer my own phone, 970-281-5151. Talk to you later. Thanks for joining me.